What's up guys, Shit in the Fridge, Volume 2, Season 2, Ep 1, Ep 01, Sewed, Finn. Finn is at the end, not at the beginning, right? My bad. What's up guys, Shit in the Fridge, Volume 2, Episode 1, Game Day Nachos. Now, every big game, regardless if it's foosball, football, basketball, sports ball, everyone's got appetizers. And you always have that friend that comes in with chips and salsa. Well, who likes just chips and salsa? I guess just Joe and no one else. So we're going to take those chips, take that salsa, and make barbecue cheesy nachos. You guys ready? Let's do it. So. We've got all kinds of ingredients because, you know, shit in the fridge. We've got your uh, tortilla chips. We've got some uh, mystery meat inside of a Tupperware, of a plasticware, plastic cup. We've got our chicken from the beginning of January because new year, new me, and food prep. And I'm gonna do all these cool things and then eat natural and go to blue question theory and do the rose and I'm gonna get healthy. Well, you didn't use that chicken, so there it is. We've got some citrus for a little bit of pop and brightness, cilantro, for all of those non-Anglo-Saxon allergy people. And then uh, some leftover tomatoes, of course, sour cream from the fridge. I don't know if it's still good, but it's always sour, so we're gonna use it. We've got some milk and flour for our roux. We're gonna use that with a little bit of butter. And of course, cheese, because what's a nacho cheese sauce without cheese? Now, what's gonna make these barbecue cheesy nachos banging? I've got this chef-made uh, Sweet Carolina habano mustard barbecue sauce. So no one has that. What do you mean no one has that? I don't have that in my fridge. You don't have barbecue sauce in your fridge? I have barbecue sauce, not that barbecue what, sauce. I don't know. What do you want me to use? What am I supposed to use? Really? I'm supposed to... So I guess we're going to use the Guy Fieri brown sugar barbecue sauce. So Where do you even buy that? You buy this at the store. You gave it to me. What store? I shop at Aldo's, but they don't have that at Aldi's. You shop at the shoe store, Aldo? Yeah? <laughs> okay, for barbecue sauce? What? Fine. We're just gonna make our own barbecue sauce then. Good? Everybody good with that? Yeah. Yeah? Good. Yeah, Kyle, you good? Hey, so I guess we're gonna make our own barbecue sauce today. Um, I don't have any of those ingredients out. I guess I'm gonna look in the fridge and see whatever I have. Let's go to the fridge and see what the is in the fridge. Hot sauce. Oh, look, some of that. Mm. Uh, uh, these. Let's see what the is Good? Yeah, you guys good? Can I make this now? Good. What, Kyle? Nothing. You, you, you nailed it. You, you, you nailed it. All right, fine. All right, so we're going to make our own barbecue sauce because everyone hates me. All right, so we've got uh, some hot sauces. You know, the hotter the better. The hotter the better to burn the esophagus and the soul of your friends that won't let you do what you want to do on this show. Here we go. So this is how you make your own barbecue fiesta sauce for your nacho bowl at home. We're going to take uh, some salsa because, you know, in the fridge and not allowed to use the stuff that my friends made. A little bit of this here, commercial grade, mm, gooby -de -goop, good -good goodness. Of course, we've got uh, that local uh, catch me if you can. Oh, that was nice. And oh, yeah, give me a little bit more. There it is. A uh, little bit more hot sauce because we hate our friends and we want their esophagus to burn. Especially the ones named Kyle. And then, of course, we're going to elevate this with a little bit more of that there. Uh, fridge, commercial, delicious. Oh. Did you blow out, Chef? I blew out. We're not going to leave that cap that got inside of our barbecue sauce for our friends to choke on when they eat their lunch. So now we're going to put a little bit of that local Boomtown Frontier Fire on the mountain. And there, good old whiskey. Whoops, good old whisk. Whisk all that up. Mm -mm -mm -mm. 
Oh, 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 tastes good. Oh, I don't know if that dude is even still around right now. Should I just keep whisking and then be done? Now we have our scratch made barbecue sauce in the pot. Let's get it on the stove, get it on the simmer, let those flavors meld come together. All right, one down. Let's get that cheese sauce rolling and then cut up a bunch of stuff. And keep the ball moving. Chains, balls, I don't know, balls and chains. I can't say that either. Really, Kyle? Balls and chains. Foot and balls. Everybody's got a thing on the dick. <laughs> All right, let's get that cheese sauce rolling. So now that we have literally all of our ingredients, our plethora of uh, chicken, limes, tomatoes, all the things we're gonna put on our uh, barbecue, saucy cheese nachos, whatever you wanna call it, we need to assemble. So Rona, even though you're hanging out with your accountability buddies and you're all six feet apart, and you're not sitting on top of each other, everyone should make their own bowl. So the first thing we... Did you throw a craft single at me? Yes. You gotta be kidding me. I wish I was. I guess we're gonna need something bigger, you know. Can't use craft singles, can't use bowls, you know, need something bigger. Yeah, size queen. All right, so. That's what she said. <sighs> yes, that, okay. Look here, Shawshank, all right, with your fake rent -a cop top flight referee eight. You know what? I'm not even. Let's just use, let's use the board. Is that good, Kyle? Huh? Everyone? Board? Let's just use the board. All right, here we go. <sighs> so we're gonna take our chips. We're gonna take a combination of both. We're gonna take a combination of both kinds of chips. Oh, didn't want to like bust those all over my face. Is that usable, Kyle? Can I say those things? So we're gonna take the chips, we're gonna get the chips on the on top of our... We're gonna put the chips on the board and it's time to assemble. Learned it from Paul. So we're gonna get our tortilla chips. Gotta get that diversity in there, you want some of that inclusion. Next up, let's get that chick, 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 chicken. Let's get some of that cheddar sauce. We get this nacho sauce that we made. 
And uh, this is that like, that thick thick, like, it's a thick boy. Now it's time to get that barbecue sauce on these nachos. Little bit of Mardi Gras in my life. We're gonna place these tomatoes all around. Now I didn't have that many tomatoes because I think Jake ate them all before we started. So. Next up, a little bit of that cilantro. We're gonna use the cilantro and just a nice little garnish over top of these nachos. So. Big super duper game day session, ready? Here you go, lime juice. Watch those eyes, fellas. So we've got our game day nachos, super bored for the bowl game coming up, coming to you soon, shit in the fridge. Uh, Ref, you wanna taste these nachos and see if they meet your expectations? I mean, I, I've given you a lot of flags. Yeah, you've given me a lot of flack and a lot of flags, so that's, you don't even have everything on there. What are you, hourly? I was supposed to, I mean, you're the chef, you know, you give me, you give me, you give me a, a piece. You're supposed to eat the whole thing. Like, not the whole thing, but you're supposed to try. You know what? No. Shit in the fridge, Christian Gill, game day nachos, barbecue, cheesy, super awesome. What? The, the, the center has, has the ball first, and, and, and uh, quarterback will say, hike. That's when the center puts the, the ball in, into the, the hands of, of the quarterback. So what I do is I, I start tackling the quarterback, unless he gives the ball to, to somebody else, in which case I, I try to tackle that person. 